What is the role of the kidneys? Did you know that your entire blood supply circulates through your kidneys about 12 times every hour? Pretty impressive for an organ that looks like two beans. Not that I have anything against beans. I mean, beans are cool. But they just really give me bad gas. I can tell you that. One time I went on the four hour body diet. Have you ever heard of that? Primarily beans, right? And I wondered why I had no friends for two months. That's actually when I met Mae Desmond. True story. Just ask her about how we met at Lululemon five years ago. I was the one crop dusting the entire store. Never too late to apologize, right? Not exactly attractive, but it happens. The kidneys have always been a kind of funny organ to me. And I bet that there were some things about the kidneys that you probably didn't know, which is why I wanted to talk to you about them today. We talked about the liver last week, right? You absolutely love the video. I saw a lot of your comments. And I wanted to talk to you about the kidneys this week. And when you leave a comment, also, you can win a juicer. We've been giving away a juicer every single week for the past five years. Turns out, could be you. Now, here's the thing about kidneys. They're actually a lot cooler than you probably even realized. Your kidneys are two bean-shaped organs that are located above your abdominal cap cavity by your back muscles one on both sides. Now the role of the kidneys is often underrated when we think about our overall health. The truth is, your kidneys are multitasking powerhouses that are responsible for filtering toxins, excess salts, and removing waste 24 hours a day, er, single day. Here's a pretty cool fact. And I was just reading this in uh, Dr. Karazian's book. In just one hour, kidneys receive around 100 and 20 pints of blood. Talk about impressive, right? Did you know your kidneys are responsible for controlling a constant amount of fluid in your body? The entire amount of blood in your body gets filtered over 400 times every single day by the kidneys. And they pump approximately 400 gallons of recycled blood daily. So here's what I wanted to show you in this Kidney Detox Saturday strategy. You don't wanna be one of those Americans, one of the many million Americans that has kidney stones each year. And for a research-backed approach to kidney detox, I'm gonna recommend the following. First, the number one risk factor for developing kidney problems is dehydration. Now you know I'm drinking enough water. I've been watching you. Figure out a way to drink water throughout the day. And what I recommend doing, and maybe you've seen us doing it here at FitLife, is put a rubber bands on a bottled water that you drink, and every time you drink out of this bottle, once it's done, put a rubber band on it. Try to get at least eight things of water every single day. I drink about a gallon and a half to two gallons. Now I know that's a lot. I'm also sitting in infrared sauna. I'm also working out a lot. So make sure you're getting enough water. When using pharmaceuticals is number two. Now the smallest amount of pharmaceuticals can actually lead to a toxic overload in your kidneys and your liver. And some of these toxic drugs can actually increase your risk of those nasty little kidney stones that I was talking about. So use natural remedies whenever it's possible, right? Now, these aren't as hard on your body as some of the pharmaceutical stuff. Number three is avoid refined sugar, soy, caffeine, excess salt, and processed foods. Cut them out. If you're going up and down the grocery aisle in the middle, stay away from that. You wanna start perimeter shopping. Number four is support and cleanse the kidneys when the following well-researched foods. Parsley, curcumin, grapes, olive oil. It's time to juice, baby. Let's do this. This juice recipe is one cucumber, I'm gonna use two, a half a green apple, one inch of turmeric, four stalks of celery. I have parsley here, and I'm only gonna use about yay amounts. This is one of the best blood purifiers, best detoxifiers, one of the best things you can put in your body for your mitochondria and detoxing the kidneys. So let's make some juice. You don't have time to juice, you can always get some Organifi. 
which has 11 of the world's best superfoods. It's amazing at helping you detox with the chlorella and the adaptogenic ashwagandha. Maybe you've never heard what ashwagandha is before. You should probably check out this presentation that I prepared for you at OrganifiShop.com. Check it out and get those phytonutrients as well. Also, let's see who won the juicer last week. This week's juicer winner is Patricia Aretas. Patricia said she made a lot of changes in her diet and got rid of the foods that Drew recommended. Now she's using a blender because she can't afford a juicer. Patricia, enjoy this new juicer from our fabulous friends at Kuvings. Try the juice recipes you watched in this video. Keep us posted on your health journey. Congratulations, Patricia. To win the juicer next week, leave a comment. And um, if you have not registered for our event yet, I wanna encourage you to do that. FitLifeLive.com, our seats are selling out. This thing's gonna be sold out real soon. And I would love to meet you. I would love to have a juice with you here in sunny San Diego. As always, share this with somebody who may have had kidney stones in the past, or you just wanna help support their health. Once we increase the health of this world, it increases the consciousness of humanity, which is the main goal, right? You want more epic, present, centered conversations with the people that you love and care about. One of the best ways to do that is to take care of this human meat suit that we're walking on, walking around in. So do that, share it with somebody you love. I'm Drew Canoli. As always, remember, we're in this together, and I'll see you soon.